Political Muscle. I'm Paul Maverick. Ramo Motorsports is doing a demonstration of their new all-electric motorcycle. First of all, you can actually take it three-way street. Um, goes over 65 miles an hour. Um, goes about 40 to 45 miles to the charge. So the sound of the bike when you turn it on is really, really quiet. Um, when you're riding, it's very quiet. It only takes four hours to charge. <laughs> What's the top speed on the bike? She's Seven. Gonna be riding in front Seven. Of you. And the the bike puts out like about 16 horsepower and uh, at the rear wheel and about 30 foot pounds of torque. Today is actually the day of the largest climate action in history. In 181 countries, there are climate actions. And so it seems to me appropriate in the way yeah. that you guys are launching an all electric, zero emissions exactly. motorcycle. Exactly, this is uh, recycled uh, plastic uh, pop bottles. Really? Um, you're looking at, so it's propylene, uh, recycled propylene. This is a ground up carpet. Um, ground up batteries. Uh, you'll see the recycled symbols on the fenders up in the front corners there. So, and obviously uh, aluminum has a very high recyclable content. So uh, a good majority of our, our vendors uh, ship us things in recyclable containers where they're reusable. So we ship back with them. And uh, so there's no waste. So that gasoline is so yesterday. Come to the future, my friend. <laughs> you just saw the world of yesterday roar out of here. Yeah. The sad song as he took off. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the, it's wow. an elegy for the age of carbon. Uh, these are made in Ashley, Oregon. This is an, an American uh, produced motorcycle. Really? Yeah. Top to bottom. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's parts from all over. I mean, you got to go to Italy to get some good stuff and, yeah. and Germany and stuff like that. So there's. It's uh, assembled. But it is completely designed and assembled in Ashley, Oregon. We're looking to present Brock with the bike and uh, let him know hey, we're here and we're ready to, to actually make a difference today. Put electric vehicles on the street today. So American made American electric made, yeah, vehicles yeah, on the street today. How many employees? Uh, that's a good question. I think we're around 50 or so. Now, is there a, a deep-pocketed shadow investor behind, shoveling tens of millions to, in order to develop it? We are at Best Buy right now. <laughs> uh, well said. And we've all been to the manufacturing facility. We've all actually built a bike ourselves. Whoa. So we've taken it from, you know, just a chassis to putting the batteries on, putting the motor controller, putting the battery charger and everything, and building a complete bike. So that you understand all the steps. So we, so we do understand all the steps. This has got to be one of the cooler things you get to work on. <laughs> actually build them and then get to go ride in the spot. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. What? Yeah. Bike Alright, so, have fun. It has three main kill switches, so you can't start the bike without having those three procedures done. See green light come on? I'm gonna hear it. So you know it's on because it's an electric Makes bike. Makes the starting sound. Just exactly. Just so let you know. know. We're exactly. on now. Yeah. Drivers okay. enable and the kickstand is up. Look at that. It's all Star trek yeah. man. So it tells you your, your, your battery life. Uh, basically, any information that will go as you drive, it will give you on. The right is also right on the way. 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 Right on the ally. It's so easy. So easy. Brother, I have tasted the future. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's it's just effortless. It's eerily silent. You're accustomed to being some engine noise and some vibration, and it's just not there. It's like a flying saucer. When I went out, it was 91% uh, battery life, and now it's 86% battery life. And I was giving it some beans. I want one. I mean, what, what a job, right? Right, exactly. Getting paid to ride bikes by the ocean. And getting paid to be part of the, the leading edge of what's coming. This is a problem you won't have with the Bramo. Any idea what the cost would be for a day's charge? Uh, less than a dollar. So what, like, uh, it's 25 cents to charge yeah. it from zero to full in three hours. So. so you just toss your boss a quarter. Yeah. Toss him or 
not toss them anything at all. Tell them, uh, <laughs> thanks for the charge. Yeah. On this, you don't have oil changes, you don't have tune ups, you don't have spark plugs. Right. You know, right. you don't have firing, you don't have ignition. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Love it. Like it. It's good stuff. Thinking about putting one in my garage. Oh, what's what's out the door on this? Uh, it's eleven nine nine five. Uh, you have two credits. You get a uh, your sales tax is actually uh, right off for the state of California, okay. and then you get a ten percent credit uh, from the federal government up to fifteen hundred dollars for the bike. So on this one, it would be about twelve hundred dollars that you get credited back from the federal. Wow. What can I say? So is this a, this is a special cable that comes with the Brahma? Yeah, or? Yep, the special uh -huh. cable. And it has a storage device so wherever you park it, wherever you can have it charging, and then you have your regular 110. That's yeah. all it is. Full charge is about three, Turn on. three to four hours, and it's about 25 seconds. And then you can actually pull the key out so you can leave it charging. Best Buy, as a matter of fact, right here in our install bay, we are now a full service bike shop. So not only are we selling the bikes, but we're backing them up with the Geek Squad Black Tie protection. Who's this going to appeal to? I think this is going to appeal to bikers for one, uh, but also the urban trendsetters. To some extent, you vote with your dollars. You, obviously, there has to be a public component, like they were talking about getting the state of Oregon to step in and help incentivize uh, American-made electric vehicles. At the same time, at the individual level, we do have some ability to steer the market with our choices, and that is flexing your political muscle.